Hey, good morning everybody. It's CVB. You're fishing with Dad. We are just leaving the marina here in Riviera Beach, Lake Park, whatever you want to call it. We're up here in West Palm Beach, Florida. I say up here because I live a little bit south, but uh, it's a beautiful morning out here. We'll, we'll clip to a shot of, uh, of me driving out there. Hopefully we can find a little live bait on the way out. Uh, if I don't see any balls in the uh, any little bait balls on my map on the way out, then we'll just stop at a buoy when we get out on the water if uh, if they're not too crowded. So that's the plan. We'll see you out there. Sun is rising. It is a beautiful day. Very thankful to be out here on the water. We got Peanut Island straight ahead of us. Uh, Speaking of thankful, big shout out to my wife Taylor for watching the kids this morning. I uh, couldn't do it without her. Not, not that I'm doing much anyway, just a little fishing buddy. But we are, uh, we are going to turn and get out the inlet and uh, hopefully get on some fish. Action on the spinning rod. I'm going to go check that out. I'm going to stop this drop. Oh yeah, fish on, fish on, fish on. Don't want to get spooled here, don't want to get spooled here. All right, all right, let's see if we can touch a, tell a dad joke while we catch a fish. How do you... All right, here's your dad joke while we catch a fish, people. Are you ready for it? How do you find Will Smith in a snowstorm? You look for the fresh prints. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this fish in, baby. I still feel a little something. I don't think it's much of a fish, but I still feel a little something. Uh, see what we're working with here. Whatever it is, it's coming straight at me. It's not really fighting, assuming we have a fish at all. Oh, looks like something small just off the water. Yeah, we got a little guy. Looks like a little mutton. We'll give him a measure, but he does not look like a keeper to me. But we'll still take a look at him real quick and get him dehooked and get him out of the water. Now, I don't know if that's a mutton or a mangrove. He doesn't really have the colors of the mutton I caught the other day. Uh, let me get my fish catching bucket here. Got my D hooker. Got my lip gripper. Got a tape measure. Let's go ahead and give this fish a good measure. So he's sitting. Wow. Uh, He's sitting uh, shy of 18, so he looks like a mutton to me, so I'm going to get him back in the water. I've never used one of these before, and frankly, I don't really know how. Now, let me get that lip, my friend. And uh, let me use this little dehooking tool to get the hook out of the mouth. Look at those little teeth he's got. You look like a nasty one, huh? You look like a nasty one, don't ya? All right. All right. We're on the hook. Got it out. Take a look at Mr. Fish here. Beautiful fish. Now let me know in the comments if that's a mangrove. Because that would be dinner if it's a mangrove. But uh, I have to play it safe. So he got away clean. First fish of the day feels good. Got my dad joke in, baby. Catch Will Smith out here. Shouts out to the Fresh Prince. And uh, let's get on some more fish. All right, I just dropped my line back in and I think I am instantly on a fish again. Hopefully it ain't the same fish, you know what I mean? 
Okay, let's reel it in. Now, I don't think I even ever got my other line all the way to the bottom. You can see it's just kind of chilling there. All right, let's keep this line tight. Let's keep this line tight. This fish feels a lot bigger to me. Maybe not way, way bigger, but it definitely feels bigger. Whoo! Let's get them in quick. Them sharks are hungry. Let's get them in quick. Ah, yeah, them sharks are hungry. They want my fish. But I want that fish too. Daddy's got to eat. Daddy has got to eat. Get a better crank position. I see something in the water. It's coming. It's coming. Looks like a, uh, looks like a little... Then this one's definitely a, a mutton snapper. I'm afraid that last one was a mangrove, which means it could have been my supper. But that's all right. Anytime you had a fish live, you didn't do anything wrong as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so, you know, and it's always better to be safe than sorry. All right, let's get him back in the water. Now, he's looking pretty dead to me, so I'm just going to grab him. Ugh. I need the whip grip again. He is obviously dead when he hit the water. He didn't kick a single time, so I'm afraid that that de-hooking process was not successful. So I've got it on video. I had to manhandle him to get that hook out. Bad set, deep in his mouth. Um, no, I'm gonna have to turn this bucket into my bleed bucket here. Well, actually, I'll just throw them in the live well, which is ironic. Shout out West Palm, baby. Shouts out to the kid, West Palm. Big shouts out. Just unhooked my jig. My spinning rods are going crazy. I've got a jig swinging around in my face. I'm going to try to move to a safer location here. See if I can get this fish up out the water. I got another dad joke for you here. Like my good buddy Eric taught me this joke. Now, Eric's the only reason I live here in Florida. He's my good friend. And uh, he taught me this joke. Two recently retired men are at a diner having breakfast. One man looks at the other man and says, my business burned down, what a tragedy. It's like, and he says, but I got the insurance payout, so I was able to retire. And his friend said, oh, good. You know, I'm sorry about your business, but it's great you got to retire. He said, in a similar vein, my business flooded. And the man says, luckily I got the insurance check and I was able to retire. Looks like we got a little, uh, just a little junk fish. So man number one looks at man number two and he says, how do you start a flood? <laughs> He's going back in the water. All right, let's get back down. I'm running really low on my... Uh... All right, everybody, we are headed back to the dock. We got a keeper mangrove that we ended up throwing back. We got a sucker fish that was no good. We got a uh, mutton that was not a keeper, but was dead the second that it hit the water. It, it never even flipped or flapped a single time when I threw it back into the water. So, um, you know, ended up keeping him. So we got a little sandwich worth of meat in the cooler. Uh, just going to fillet it on the dock. 
my fillet skills were brought into great question in my last video so I might skip the footage on that this time I, I have not uh, improved on that skill unfortunately but uh, I, I'll, I'll get back on YouTube and watch some more videos you know I'm a, I'm a self-taught YouTube fisherman I haven't really done like a lot of guided fishing uh, you know I've gone on the big boats that are like 60 bucks and there's 20 other people and they'll help you re-rig and stuff like that but you know i like to drop the line myself catch the fish myself if i whenever possible and uh that's that's just kind of the way i am but anyway we do have a big surprise coming up for you guys um on the 16th through the 18th i'm going to be going down the keys and on the 17th i'm going out with a captain so like i just mentioned that's not something that i've really done much of in my life uh, fishing under the guidance of you know a, a more seasoned fisherman uh, so I'm really excited to get out there and try that um, going out of Isle Morada in the Keys uh, shout out to Ismeralda uh, <laughs> that's that's what I used to call it um, just a couple more thank yous to some folks uh, shout out to Eric's wife Brenda shout out to uh, shout out to Jason from work uh, Jason and Eric really encouraged me to start the whole YouTube thing in the first place and I've really enjoyed it so far I mean I know I've got one video with like 30 views but I'm, I'm really loving it just uh, getting out here and taking the footage and kind of documenting my experience and uh, you know hope to find some more friends out on the boat um, you know I'm, I'm kind of going out at random times and random days here just jumping on when I can so it's not been great planning but um you know hopefully we can get some buddies out here that'd be awesome so uh see you guys in the next episode peace